Instead of going door to door, trick or treaters will walk trunk to trunk in a warm and safe indoor environment. Businesses are encouraged to participate by registering a vehicle to hand out candy. You do have options that you can bring either a small car, a small SUV. Um, we are opening up to different community members as well. So say if a tractor organization would like to bring a small lawn tractor and they can bring those as well, but they must have some sort of box attached to it, like a bucket or something that they can provide the candy in or the goodies. The expectation is that the event is filled with different businesses and organizations taking part in handing out candy with decorated vehicles that show off the Halloween theme. Our expectations are that we see the business community step up, the nonprofits, the schools, the teams, the clubs to provide trunks, and we honestly expect there to be full, full house of families and kids enjoying themselves. I think that we could have some really creative installations and some really interesting, unique spins on the Halloween theme for sure. Not only is this a great event for kids and families, it's also an opportunity to give back through donations. If anybody would like to donate to the Lloyd X, they are more than welcome to do that. The information is on the entry package. And again, you can always contact us if you have any questions. We are also asking, um, it is totally optional, if people would like to make a non-perishable food item donation to the local food bank, you can bring it here on the day of and we will collect it from you and take it over. Trunk or Treat is taking place on October 27th from 4 to 7 in the Culligan Water Building at the Lloyd X. To register a vehicle, visit LloydX.com. Registration closes October 24th. For Primetime Local News, I'm Abby St. John.